Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Felicia here, and we have Ruby chapter, Ruby volume 6, chapter 7, I think it is. I hope. Alright. I really love the ending of this song. So badass. So yeah, how was you guys' day? What'd you do? It's probably still early if you're watching this. Like 11 o'clock, exactly. Maybe. If I get it out in time. I don't know. I should probably lean this way. <laughs> don't want you all to see the clutter back there. Now you understand. I've got to get the relic before it can be secured in Atlas. The only way that Salem It's the only way we can accomplish our goal. Where does she get the knife from? Does she have that the whole time I'm tripping? You're not the only one who wants Ruby dead. But unfortunately, Salem does not feel the same way. Wait, Salem wants Ruby alive? For I've what been reason? Instructed not to kill her. But you Ooh. You have no such orders. Okay, well, okay, hold on. Well, okay, wait, hold on, no. If Neo is working with Cinder and Neo kills Ruby, do you think Salem's gonna care? No, or she's still gonna blame Cinder. Cinder, you just overestimate yourself. That is your biggest flaw. Help me get to Atlas. Help me find her. Those are some ugly behind shoes. Is up to you. Not that I can talk. I have no fashion sense. She's so small. I forgot how tiny Neo is. What we doing now? I'm sorry. What are you in the? What are you in the snow covered mountains? What is this now? You're on a bridge, you can't take the. Who is this? This is a Neo. Or a Cinder. Wait, what the hell is going on? I'm confused. Who are you? Dressed like the Grim Reaper. Literally the Grim Reaper. Oh shoot, this is Maria. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, obviously. Obviously it's Maria. You want a flashback? What is that? What is that? What is this? What is this? What's her power? What's her semblance? Oh my god. Look at her. Oh my god. You think she just used her silver eyes to end it all though, right? So she has scythes too. So like, do all silver eyed warriors have scythes? Like she does, Ruby does. Probably not, just those two. Right, why didn't she just do that to begin with? <laughs> oh, and I think it was right. I think only the bigger ones get petrified, and then the smaller ones, I guess, just get destroyed. Eviscerated. So what's her semblance to make her... Sives go to get them. No, that can't be it. That's a that's not a thing. Who are these guys? Well, that's a fancy trick now, isn't it? Afraid it comes with a price, though, love. What accent is that? I'm not good with accents. Is it English, Scottish, or Irish? I think one of those. I don't know. Realize who I am. Of course I do. No, it's English, right? It's like a. You're the Grim Reaper. I knew it. And these are the last sixty seconds of your life. <laughs> it's like I know you're based off of someone, I just don't know who. She 
Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yo, look at her. Yo, Maria can kick butt, yo. Look at her. Yo. She's kicking their butts. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Mm. Hey, that's just semblance. She could. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Look, she ain't playing no games now. She got it together. Ooh, she bit it. Oh, that's what she looks. Yo, why she look like Opal from Legend of Korra? Wait, what happened? Wait, hold on. I missed it. I missed it. No, 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 no. No, that's how she lost her eyes. That's why she can't see. Who are you? Who are you supposed to be? It was a close call. I'll give you that. BRB, one second. I mean, not really. I'm staying here, but like, I want to look up. See if anyone else has figured it out. I don't care. Well, I respect that. I'll fight her to the end. Nah, she did it on purpose. Watch. Knew it. Oh. Wait, did she take off her head? She took off her head. This episode is so dark. Was it what? Was it what? Believe it. You, you're the Grim Reaper. Mm -hmm. You were a legend, and then you disappeared. How exactly does a legend just disappear? They have legends here. Never used your name. Never showed and your face. This, you know. Lots of us thought you were just laying low. Eventually, we came to accept that you were probably dead. But the stories about you, I based my weapon off of yours. Oh really? I wanted to be as good as the Grim Reaper. That's so interesting. Well, I'm nothing but a disappointment. So you're well on your way. How can you say that? Child, Did she just shade Crow? To protect others to the bitter end. Damn. But after I lost my eyes, Damn. I only ever looked after myself. Even after my surgery, I was too afraid to fight. Oh, that's why she can see still. So. She had surgery. Finish what the others started. Blake, you can relate, you kinda. You shouldn't aspire to be like me. Especially when some of you are clearly stronger already. Mm, they all look like gang okay. because Seeing she's also, like, the task of disabled. And she's continuing to fight, I think. I'm just sorry I didn't do more Wait, I missed what she said just now. What she said? Clearly stronger already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you're strong. Comforting. Seeing that your generation seems up to the task of inheriting this world. I'm just sorry I didn't do more to leave it in better shape. Well, maybe you can do something now. Yeah. Teach me to use yes. the way you did. Yes. Let's go. Let's do this. They don't even need to fight. Just have Ruby. Just send Ruby out every time. And then she'll flash him. It's Sean. Wait, huh? what? Is he in trouble? Is he in trouble? Wait. <laughs> Ruby, that's so cold. Why you got him as vomit boy? Oh wait, no. Nice music is settling in, so they're not in danger. Everything's good. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's peaceful. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, they made it to the place. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Argus. Argus, thank you. I knew I totally knew that's what it was. Oh, you hear the theme? The Wait, don't tell me. Did Yang go down that hill? We have arrived in Argus. Y'all see how steep this hill is? That's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's so pretty though. Look at the backgrounds. 
this episode took a turn. I thought they'd be stuck in the woods for a couple more episodes and finally get to Argus like in the final chapters. Nora! What'd she say? Cute something else? Are you all okay? We were so worried. Holy good look at the hooking! What? What? Yang and Ren? Blake and John? They don't hug, they don't talk. What's going on? Uh John and Ruby. I low key shift them. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. I, low key, low key. It's small. Like three percent ship of them. Hey. I promised, didn't I? You did, you did, you got there. Oh he's crying. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. It's good to see you guys. This is so wholesome. What the hell is going on here? How do we go from Maria getting her eyes like gouged out and then to the Wait, what? They're on the that's the thing in San Francisco. It looks like San Francisco. Until Mantle showed up. And kinda Philly. Where I'm from. Kinda. What? This looks like a whole effing city. Look at this. They have apartments. A theater. Well, it still falls under Mistral demand. Construction workers. Military presence here to help keep the people safe and to keep trade between the two nations steady. I'm not listening to a single thing they're saying. Until recently. I'm like looking at everything. What are they saying? Wait, hold on. Okay, I know. Okay, I know that just from a couple of volumes, volume one to three, they have cities like we saw Vale and all its gloriness and all that whatnot. But just to see this on this scale, like you know how Mistral looks kind of. I don't even know. It doesn't look as developed. We should probably Menagerie neither. Ship. So where have you guys been staying? Uh <laughs> There you are. <laughs> Who that? Is that his sister? Hey, Sam. As a sister, right? John has like a couple sisters. A lot of sisters, right? If I remember correctly. Uh -huh. I knew it! So many questions. Oh, I can give you the Aww. later. Well, you guys Yang. What? I love telling stories about my baby brother. Mm. Oh yeah, he's the youngest, ain't he? I am not a baby. That is a baby. <laughs> oh, you made him upset. Oh, look at them. What's going on? This is so wholesome. Saffron. You're the only arc living here? Yep. You the second. Saffron. John and I are the Wait, away hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's John right there, obviously, with his little help, and his sisters put his hair. Is that the mom or is this um, like, an older older sister? Probably the mom, right? I don't know. That looks like a boy. Is that a boy? Does he only have sisters? I think so. So maybe it's not a boy. That's clearly anime smart girl one on one right there. The twins, obviously. There's always a bunch of be gonna be twins. Uh alright, that's probably Saffron right there, because her hair looks the same. From home. Dark blondish. Oh my god. They're, they're like me and my brother. Everyone? Who's this? No way! Why hello there. Wow, quite a party, you weren't kidding. Hun, could I get some help, please? Oh my god. And you're sure it's all right if we stay with They're you? so sweet. Of course. They're helping make sandwiches. You all risked so much to keep people like us safe. It's the least we can do. Especially for such an elite huntsman like yourself. Although I will <laughs> They're holding hands. To learn you had students helping you. Oh my god. Is that even legal? No, probably not. Uh, of course. Think of it as an extended training mission. Trust me, I was a professor. Even went to the same academy as them. And let me tell you, these kids are way better than we were at their age. Well, not it's the tr it's the trauma. They're better because of the trauma. Shut up, there's food. My phone just vibrated. Dude, they are so cute. What's their baby's name? Phone, shut up. Oh, yeah, it will be. Tara's a technician for the town's relay tower. 
Unfortunately, the military's radar system is also housed there. Guess what's been on the fritz lately and who's getting falsely blamed? Uh. Oh, that's so cute. What's your plan for They're tomorrow? so cute. Well, They're precious. I love them. We're trying to make our way to Atlas. We'll probably start with the military base. So, uh. we kind of already tried that and it didn't go super great. Come on, it couldn't be that bad. No, <laughs> jump cut. Well, well, I guess that's what we're doing next episode. Yep, I knew it at the end. Oh, look at this. The artwork always impresses me. Like this concept art here, the lanterns, like the fact that there's actually three story buildings here. Like this is just like America, or at least, you know, my part of America and San Francisco. I wonder if they have like cities like New York in Remnant. Probably not. Because Menagerie seemed to be more of um the tropics, and I guess Atlas is going to be more Americanized or Londonish or whatever. Um, it, looks, it looks like London and San Francisco mixed together, you know? And Vacuo is probably like Australia Outback or something. Um, Mistral and. Yeah, Mistral seemed to be like Asian like themed. I don't know how to say it. East Asian themed. Who are you? Like she kind of remind what the, the the clock means something. The clock definitely means something. I'm trying to think. Any fairy tale. It's like mm, she's some type of iguana. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not an iguana, but the, the mohawk is messing with me. She's green. She's the dang crocodile from. Oh my god. The crocodile. The one with Captain Hook. Oh my god. Was it from? Oh, look, right here. Yeah. Oh my god. What's the story called? The guy who can fly. Peter Pan. That's what it is. She's the crocodile from Peter Pan. Wow. It took me so long to get that. Ugh, I don't ever think about that movie, honestly. Alright. Um. This episode was super good. Like, the whole thing with Maria, I gotta say, I didn't need it, but I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it would, I thought they, this would be a filler episode. Like, they would be stuck in the woods for a couple episodes before they actually got to Argus, before they actually didn't go to Atlas. I thought Atlas would be, like, the next volume. Because just going by the pacing of the other volumes, you know, seems like they'd be, like, walking around for a little bit more, or just stuck in one place for a little bit more. Like, I thought they'd be in that house for at least three episodes. Just as going by what Volume 4 and Volume 5 has led me to believe, expectation-wise. But, no, this season, the pacing is so good. They're not sticking around in one, like, area for too long. Story's moving. Like, I figured we wouldn't see Jean and Juniper until way later. But, lo and behold, we got them back just in time. The whole thing Maria is sad, man. Like, she was so badass, and she just lost her powers. Not her powers, but she can't... Well, I guess she did lose her powers. She can't do the Silver Eyes thing anymore. Um, Maybe she never even developed a semblance because of that. She just relied on her Silver Eye power. That's interesting, right? Um, The whole thing with John and his sister was sweet, just like me and my brother. Argus looks freaking beautiful incredible this moment here just destroyed me because like oh my god i love seeing these two together they respect each other so much as leaders of their respective teams and so nice yang and ren never expect them to even have a sick like a slight interaction same with blake and john like i feel like this volume is really having more interactions with different characters um like back in episode five i think or six whatever when blake put the blanket on weiss because you haven't seen weiss in Blake interacts much, like at all. Or, I believe it was episode 5 when Blake and Ruby were talking for like a split second. Again, we don't really see interaction like that anymore. So I think they're trying to make up for that, which I really appreciate. Like, I would love to see just like have the girls talk and have the boys talk, you know, act like young adults, which they are. 
but they don't have time for that, which I understand. Um, and I definitely think it's cool they have an LGBT couple in here, like, and they have a baby. I mean, they're just normalizing it, and that's great. Oh, I can give you the rundown later. Like, they're so sweet together. They're so precious. I love it. I love telling stories about my baby brother. Look at them. They're so cute, man. All right. I'm done. This episode was fantastic. This whole season has been fantastic so far. I think there's only, like, maybe one episode that I didn't really enjoy that much. Um, but, yeah, like, that was, like, episode one or two. Um, but yeah, this is, like, really, really good so far. I'm happy. I'm so happy with how the season is progressing. Yeah, this is a big step up from Volume 4 and especially Volume 5. Uh, the pacing is great. The character interactions are great. Um, I feel like they, are, they, they know what they're doing. They have great confidence. The artwork is great. The animations are better. Everything about Volume 6 is so fantastic. I, I can't I can't even fathom it. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Obviously, I really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed every single episode so far. So, yeah. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Have a good day.